Hey, Jebediah, how's it going, Jeb? I haven't talked to you in a few months, haven't I? Well, what's up, everyone? I'm back in uh, Kerbal. Uh, I have not actually, I don't think last time, last time I went, last time I recorded Kerbal, I don't remember if I showed this off. I don't think I did. Because the last time I filmed Kerbal was actually, I did a lot of off-camera stuff and I haven't exactly, I wanted, I was actually preparing to do a video regarding part of what this project was, this moon, uh, orbiter. Uh, because I was expanding upon it and I had this idea for... A system in which I would transport astronauts here, which is that craft. This was the original test craft that I did off screen. And sending another vehicle that would be the lander. So it would be specifically to pick up the astronauts, take them down, bring them back up. It would rendezvous with this in orbit and then either be dumped or used as a capsule or whatever. I have a few different access points here, here, here to use. Um, I actually haven't played Kerbal in a hot second. Like it's been a bit. I remember some of the controls, but some of the fine tuning that I that I did, especially when it came to uh, using the monopropellant to just ease my way up to to docking, I don't remember any of that, or at least I'm not as fluent and comfortable with it. So for now, I think what we're going to do, because I actually expand, I put the expansions on this game. I bought the expansions originally. Um, I think what I may want to try to do is run a test lander so it's going to be an unmanned lander that's going to head to the moon and land and then maybe depending on if the landing is successful see if i can build one that can rendezvous with the ship um maybe i don't know that's the that's part of the problem that i have to figure out because i want to make something that can get here which takes fuel that can land back here which takes a bit a little bit more fuel not a whole lot but a little bit more and then can come back here and then beyond that, it could be dumped or whatever. So that's the hard part. This is what's supposed to take them back to the uh, Kerbin. But I think when I originally launched this ship, I used too much fuel. So I may just dump it and send a new one here if I want to get the three astronauts off. But we're going to do a test run here. Also, I need to do a test run to kind of get back into the swing of things for how to launch in general. Um, if I remember correctly, I know how to get a craft to the moon uh, efficiently. Maybe. But, I don't know. I think what I may do is I may just do a, uh, a test going straight to the moon and then trying to see if I can get to the station, if that's successful. Because I just want to kind of... I want to do a landing. I actually have... I'm itching for a landing rather than anything else. So, let's get Jeb back on the ship. Back on this. This took me quite a while to actually get set up. I think it was like in the middle of the year or a little bit later in the year, I, um probably did like eight missions these pieces were huge pieces that were sent separately um and then these pieces were obviously added later but i think i did like six missions for this one the other station was probably more like 10 but i did piece by piece because i wanted a station around the moon just to practice with it practice with uh maneuvering orbiting there was a point in time where i did not have a smooth rendezvous and it was not great no, <clears throat> Jeb, can you please? Jeb, please. I'm trying to not be difficult here. Hmm. Maybe we'll do this as a separate mission. I think what I'll, what I think, I think what I want to do is I just want to get to the moon with a new uh, lander uh, that could drop off a new rover, and then in a separate mission we'll do the test for the uh, space station rendezvous landing and rendezvous. Because I think it's going to be a little bit too much on this rocket if I try to do all of it at the same time. So we're just going to try to get to the moon and land and drop a lander on there. Oh, I'm not sure if it'll work or not, but we'll see. I mean, it's not a lot of fuel, but it's one of those things where... Um, it's not a lot of fuel, but it may work. Maybe. Possibly. Very possibly. And I'm probably going to put the payload fairing right there. Maybe we'll do a bigger rover next time. Because it's going to be a progressive thing. It's going to be one of those things where I want to test to make sure I have a, a, a return vehicle that can work well. I want to make sure I have a, a, a landing and rendezvous vehicle that work well. And then once that's done, I'm going to start landing some stuff on, on the moon. Including possibly other, other rovers or vehicles that they can sit in and drive around in. Um... 
and do some science before we do anything else like going to loon, uh, uh, the moon. So th again, this is a test. This is a test to make sure I remember how everything goes and I don't accidentally drop this thing on the moon un un unnervingly. So we're just gonna do a general landing on the moon. Again, everything should be set up good. Let me get the engine activated. Let's try this out. Three, two, one. SAS on, and here we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, that was so clean. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Clean, clean, clean. I hope I'm pointing in the right direction. Usually it's in the opposite one, but... Okay, okay. Crap, I'm pointing it in the wrong direction. I need to go in the opposite direction. I screwed the pooch. I forgot what I did last time, which worked every single time, especially for building the damn station. And because I screwed the pooch, I need to restart it again. All right, it's moon. Because I need to go towards the ocean. Yeah, that was my B because I remember... Hey, look, there's a Minimus. Minimus? Minimus. Look at that. You can see both of them at the same time. That's worth a screenshot. See that rover? See that over there? It's called the moon. That's where you're going to. Should we give this rover a name? I don't know. I don't know if we should or not. I don't know, one, if he's going to survive, and two, if we're going to use him beyond this test. Like, if he's just going to sit on the moon absent of many things i don't know yet for some reason the name tiny tim came to mind and i don't know why we'll name this one tiny tim how about that that's fine i don't know why it's coming up to my brain but tiny tim is good all right tiny tim we're gonna get you to the moon and it's gonna be fantastic ah oh, crap did i forget to freaking put a uh... RCS module on. Dang it. I don't have any RCS for this mission. How did I forget that? Why did I think that RCS automatically went woes? Cause... So RCS went with the other crew missions, but that was because there was a module that had it already on standby, whereas here I just plugged them in without actually having anything. Great. No, 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 no. Yeah, why did the orbit screw itself like this? Because it's not gonna... Ah! Oh, come on! How did the orbit do that? That's not cool, man. So what I need to do is I pretty much need to do this again, but I need to make it more sideways, have it give it a bit more of an orbital path so it doesn't hit the Earth, and so it catches it on the other side of the planet rather than that. Because that was absolutely dumb. It's like give it all the sideways momentum it can take. And then just try. Because last time, because, so let me, let me show you on the map. Let me show you on the map what I'm talking about. So I would launch in this direction, but I would give it a lot more horizontal uh, steering. And as the moon went in this direction, we would probably meet it somewhere over here. So the Earth, the, the carbon would fling us around back this way, probably, on the opposite angle, basically. Um, and it would meet up with the moon, which would save fuel, save time, save everything. It may come in like a bit askew as far as the way the, the orbit is, which I had to fix every single time I worked with the, the, the moon station, but generally that's how it would work all the time. Because usually what I would do is I would just put the rocket right on this target, which would put it horizontally, instead of following the green prograde, which screwed me last time. And it would work. It would work each and every time. Each and every time I did it. Including the other time that I did a, a test rover, which was months ago. Every time it worked. And this time, having coming back from not playing this for a bit, even though I remember a good amount of the controls, I forget to put RCS on there. I forget to, uh, which direction I go in, the procedures for getting to the moon. So the confidence level and being able to get this thing on the ground, I, I even put RCS module here. I even put an RCS module right here. And they're probably not going to work, so I have to use the main engines. 
at least this time around compared to the original rocket that I I had the little booster that I had with the other rover the rockets were a bit at an angle because they were on an angled piece so that made controlling the thing on descent a lot more difficult this time they're pretty much straight down so it should be a lot more controllable making final approach now oh it's actually coming in quite nice so let's do the couple. There we go. Look at that. That's looking quite nice. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Whoa, no, 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 no. Whoa, what happened? What happened? Stop, 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 stop. God. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Come on. Get back. Get back. You're coming in way too hot. Oh, 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 oh. Stop. Why are you doing this? Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Why, 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 why? Stop. Why do I have no control over this vehicle? Whoa. Stop, stop, stop. What is going on with this vehicle? Why is he having so many issues? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus Christ, what happened? I don't understand what's happening. Whoa, my view got screwed up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 Timmy. You're screwing with my brain. Why are you turned in the wrong direction? I don't know what's happening. Oh, well, that landed. Timmy, why do you have to do this to me? What is happening? I'm so confused. Oh, God, it flung me back out. We're so close. We're so close to the to the path of victory. And then that happens. See, you're stable here, so what is happening here? Ah, oh, and there's there's Kerbin too. Oh man, I don't feel confident about this. This feels like it's going to end extremely badly. After three failed attempts and me naming this thing freaking Timmy, this is going to suck. Look at that. That's a freaking picture right there. I'll take this is going to be like the last screenshot before tragedy. Okay, I'm, yeah, this is not going to be great. Where is it landing anyways? Right beyond the crest? And I am going very fast. Like, what's happening? Why are the engines doing this to me? I feel like it is unbelievably unnecessary. Because last time I could go full tilt on the engines. And there'd be no issues with the thing wanting to kick around and spin around like a, like a, 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 a dreidel. I don't understand. God, this is not going to end well. Why do you want to spin so uncontrollably? I 
I'm like cheating by skipping so it can stop spinning. I'm so close to the surface. Oh, come on, turn, turn yourself, turn yourself, turn yourself, turn yourself. Oh, I can't turn him, he's freaking going in the wrong direction. And I'm low fuel too. Oh, he's dead. Emergency, decouple. No, emergency, decouple. Oh no! To me! Oh. oh, what the hell? Are you kidding me? He would have been fine. What am I staring at right now? What is this? I'm so confused. He would have been fine if I would have kept him on the damn thing. I swear, if this lands on its feet, I am gonna be angry. Don't you dare land on your feet. Don't you dare land on your feet. I see you gonna 